And now if I go again to the documentation of uh, the chakra with the formic, so this is what it says that the formic, I have given the opening tag along with these three values, initial value, I have given the validation schema uh, separately because I'm using the YAP and this documentation is not using the YAP, it is internally handling the errors by itself. So now inside it, we have this callback function which returns the form tag. So let me come back here inside this tag. I do have the access to the callback function and this callback function basically takes the props and this basically uh, returns like this uh, the form. So now it returns the form tag and let me do that quickly right in here and inside the form tag we are having this field tag and again this field tag is going to be given by the formic. So the form tag and the field tag both are provided by the formic so we have already imported the formic library so we are using the form and then inside the form we can use the field. So field and then we are going to quickly copy the content of the field right in here. So we can have multiple fields. I mean multiple fields mean the input boxes. So currently we need two. So let me paste it right in here. And after pasting it again, we don't need this validate function because we are validating it using the formic. The only thing that we need to change in here is the name that should match with the name that I have given as an initial state. And for the consistency purpose, I have used the name of the field everywhere like the title. So let me give it a title over here and once again if I remove this just to make you clear this field again gives the callback function and this callback function again uh, basically have two props one is uh, the field another one is the form uh, since I am in the TypeScript uh, file so that's why I need to explicitly mention the type so for now I'm just giving it any type so this field contains the all the information about the field about the input field that we are going to add right in over here all the information about the on change are the values of the text field or something like that all those are receiving over here and all the errors are the visited fields are tracking sort of information that is available right inside the form so inside here uh, what I'm gonna do is let me go and now grab this part form control and make sure uh, this form control form label input and form error message all these components are provided by the chakra not by the formic so if I copy here it is going to give me an error because I didn't import all these components so let me import these components and that's it why it is giving okay I didn't provide the comma right here so everything is okay and now I should see the form let me change one more thing I don't need this name as placeholder I'll say enter the title in here and what else do I need to do uh, I think nothing that's okay for me for now so I have only one field in my form I can provide one more field for the body so I can copy it and I can paste it just below and I give it a name like body and that is going to be enter the body and let me see let me export it it is already exported and let me use it uh, in the other component which is right in here so I'll be using to do form so now I should see and one more thing that I need to specify since the chakra UI uh, since everything inside the app directory is by default a server component so I'm using the chakra UI in it which is not allowed so I need to mark it as the client component with the directive like use client so I'm successfully able to actually show the two fields and let me now quickly format it a bit so in the form control let me provide the padding top and bottom just to separate both of them from each other so it's padding y is going to be 6 and the same thing is going over here for 6 so that looks fine it's too much I think let's make them 4 and now finally uh, we need to again add a button so let me grab this button right in here and let me specify it inside the form but outside the fields import this to save to do so now our formic form is ready let's wrap it the whole thing inside the container and that's it the container also needs to be imported and again I need to specify the max width for the container to be 1400 in case of the header component so that's pretty much it now if I uh, submit it nothing is happening over here uh, let me check what 
else I need to do uh, okay so one thing I forgot to change since I have changed the name of the field to be the title right over here right here but I forgot to do so right in here where the errors are being checked and shown so I'm going to click in here here as well as here and just name them as title for this field and then in here the name is going to be the body so now if I save it and refresh the page single character and move away without uh, giving the proper title as per the validation criteria it is giving me the error and if I move away from this field without entering anything it is giving me the error and if I start typing and when the correct data is found actually it the errors will go away and if I start typing it gives me the please give uh, please give three characters long character so if I start typing anything and if I actually paste it a couple of times so when uh, body is too long 50 15 characters are allowed so that's not the 15 right so I need to change the message as well so it's like 120 right so all right so we have successfully uh, built a form with the formic and yep validation and form data handling so that's pretty much for today and one more thing before actually I end this video what if all the data is provided correctly so what do I need to do if I have to check it I can check it in fact in the console because I have actually consoled everything all the values on submit so all the values should be shown in the console right in here if nothing goes wrong in the form so let me quickly have this so if I type anything are everything valid in the form so I do have the title right in here and the body as well so that's pretty much for uh, today's video I will be coming in the next video with the rest of the things that are required actually the last component uh, list of all to do's and then we'll all obviously move back uh, to the uh, to the backend development so thank you very much stay tuned for the next video